just check out this area real quick and see if there's anything that Jubei can see that anyone else couldn't. didn't see any items or I didn't see any red orbs I'm not seeing any items either so that was kind of a waste of time oh well So that's cool. Go ahead and use an herb. I still have plenty of them. and Pumaru. Oh wait, I should save. I haven't saved in quite some time. Actually, I haven't saved for an hour. That's impressive somewhat reckless. Okay, back down the elevator we go. Alright, so, now that we have the circle key, we can get through that door on the opposite side of this room up here. Ooh, a 
puzzle. Not a very difficult puzzle, but a puzzle nonetheless. We just have to match up the symbols with the ones up top. And there we go. And that's opened up a path of light. Tokajiro's memo number one. Recently, my lord has become extremely busy with managing the demons, planning human hunts, visiting the worksite of the sacred place, and constructing, constructing the tower of Gifu Castle. Since I am just a human, it was too, too difficult to be everywhere with my lord. But thanks to my lord's brilliant piece of equipment called the Light Path, I can instantly travel between the sacred place and Gifu Castle. Now I can travel and devote my full services to my lord. Tokajiro. Aren't you a devoted little guinea pig there, Tokajiro? Anyway, let's go ahead and enter the Light Path. So yes, here we are back at Inabayama Castle. Any other secret red orbs? Or items, perhaps? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh, wait. Ooh, we found more bullets. I don't think we really needed them, though. Oops, I don't think I equipped it. There we go. I do remember this area, though. So in here we have another puzzle box. Got us a rare talisman item. Now these are incredibly valuable. A wood talisman with great power. It can revive you once. So if we happen to kick the bucket, we can revive ourselves using the talisman. Which is great. I'm surprised there's no enemies in here. items that may be hidden. I'll just check real quick. Nope. So we're clear. It's unusual. First, you have to tell me where the key is. 
If I knew, How would I know? I wouldn't ask you. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Great. All right, so you actually get to play as Eke here. I have never played as this character before, believe it or not. Well, we can't go in there. Let's head this way. map of Gifu, the Gifu Castle East. And here is a yellow bracer for Eke, Eke, so he can start collecting souls. So it seems he uses talismans for his finish attack. You know, I'm surprised. For his size, he actually attacks fairly quick. We got the cherry key. That's just where we came from. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. Let's go this way, then. Kind of fun to play as. Yeah, I would not have suspected that he could attack that fast with his spear, given his size and all. Is that just keeping the enemies in check by doing that? I think it is. That's kind of a... It's not a very good magic attack. I mean, it's kind of useful if you're surrounded, I guess. So what do these charms even do? Oh, okay, they're like remote control bombs. I have to set them off. Okay, I'm with you. There. 
There we go. We killed it. Just his attack noises get on my nerves. Yep, let's use the cherry key here. We got a Neo Protector. Huh, Neo. Pretty sure that's the name of the, a new game that was created by the creator of Onimusha. Let's equip it. We got the Crescent Key. And there, here's another puzzle box. a magic jewel. We also got artwork. And there's a file. Creating the best ingredients has been a long and painstaking mission of mine for many years. However, I have never found a way to evade the cruelty of the process. It's strange, but if you allow humans to roam free in their space, they will eventually fight with each other over territory and not over food. On the other hand, it is difficult to raise humans in a small area. What is most difficult, though, is having to eliminate the human leaders of these fights in order to preserve our stock of humans. And now it has come to my attention that some demons believe that the free-range humans are better than the raised ones. I must admit that I have found a difference in the firmness of the humans who are captured, as opposed to the ones we raise ourselves. Being an accomplished cook, ugh, I can tell the difference when I slice open the human body. Gross. As far as I can remember, the best ingredient I have ever used would have to be Tyrano Masakado. I feel like I've heard that name before. This human broke his contract of the demons, and therefore was soon set on the table for fortune brought a feast upon. I had heard that Masakado had killed many humans and that it was recorded in human history. Maybe there is a connection to the quality of the human and their personality. I don't know, but I will continue to research this possibility. Yeah, okay, that's just gross. Anyway, we got the Crescent Key now, so I think we need to backtrack at this point. Oh yeah, I'm not messing with that robot. This is the area I needed to get back to. Where the heck does it want me to go? Because I 
I've never done this before. this was the right way. I'm honestly not sure. Unless this crescent key is the one I needed. has both features of a spear and a battle axe. Cool. Ow. Alright, we're not gonna mess with them, since I don't want to waste talismans. Hunting schedule. Recruitment for Shingen Takeda of Kai Province. The elders are going after the Takeda clan. Those who enter will receive 500 human bodies as a special bonus. Registration ends on the full moon in February. Aizen, Echizen Odani Castle, Ishiyama Hongen Temple, Ise Nagashima, and Kishu Saiga. <sighs> I recognize at least two of those names, Odani Castle and the Saiga clan. And of course, they're going after the Takadas as well. Bastards. So let's see if we have to take the boat. His kick is actually the thing that killed it. Alright, we need to kill that archer. That magic attack isn't as bad as I thought. Because it completely freezes all regular enemies. Uh, it's not going to work on huge enemies, though. That's Ow. Oof. Well, that was kind of a waste of a talisman, but we used it. Better than dying, I guess. We got the snake key. Good. Looks like a plan. Is it for a statue of Buddha? Golden Evil Statue. As of today, the Golden Evil Statue is complete. The statue is made up of roughly 6,000 tons of gold. When I first saw the design specification, I could not understand why Lord Nobunaga wanted this statue, 
but now I understand and am confident that the statue shines with a dignity that will allow everyone to worship it. This statue is a testament to the greatest of our Lord Nobunaga. While Fortinbra tried to rule, hu rule humans with force, Nobunaga understands that worship works better. Under, under his rule, we have enjoyed many ceremonies and sacrifices. This statue will allow us to gain even more of these ceremonies and sacrifices from the humans. Lord Nobunaga is a genius. Ah, so that explains why they wanted all that gold from the Imasho gold mine. To build that stupid gold statue. Although Lord Nobu Nobunaga was killed in Okenza Okehazama, he rose from the dead by the power of the demons. With the help of Fortinbra, Nobunaga tried to exterminate the Saito clan of Mino province. But the Oni warrior, Samonosuke Akechi, stopped this evil plan. When the king of the demons, Fortinbra, met his untimely fate at Inab Inabayama Castle, the schemes of Nobunaga also apparently died. No one could have imagined that Fortinbra would be defeated, but Nobunaga saved the demon world. Although Nobunaga was only a hu originally a human, Fortinbra chose him wisely, and soon Nobunaga created order from the chaos and became king, king of the demons. He destroyed the Saito clan of Mino province and is now ready to conquer the entire country. Damn you, Nobunaga. At least Samonosuke was able to stop his master, Fortinbra, but now Nobunaga is the king of the demons. What's this? It's way too detailed to be a statue. So those statues are unfortunately blocking our path, and we can't go any further. Well, now that we have the snake key, I assume we have everything we need to break... Jubei out of that locked room. Maybe I underestimated that magic ability. It's pretty damn good for regular enemies. But I, I imagine against bosses, it's com if it were up against a boss, it'd be completely worthless. Alright, let's get back to Jubei. I was about to call him Semenosuke. Gonna be a bit of a trek to get back to him. Just gonna ignore these guys because they're not worth the time to fight. Okay, Jubei, we got the key for you. Let's use it. Hi, AK. You must know what I want. Mm? Booze? Money? Yes, I know. Liquor and women. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I expect a great deal of you. <laughs> yes, that's fine. 
<laughs> That's good. That's good. Yep. <laughs> He's a simple man with simple tastes. Well, thanks for getting those souls for me. Okay. Let's use them. So now the Senpumaru is at max level. Probably would be a good idea to start working on the other armor next. And then we can focus on the Dokosui.